Hey there guys, it's uh, Phil from Fidelity Factory here. Find me on Twitter at PowerPhil1. And today I'm going to look at how you could use a Power Virtual Agent to solve a lot of HR problems. So in today's uh, video, we're going to look at how you could use a HR chatbot directly in Teams. And we're going to look at how you can use that to manage a time off query. So let's say if I wanted to take a week off, next week off, uh, I could actually you do that through the chatbot rather than let's say having to contact someone in HR. The way we're going to look at that is actually we're going to incorporate a Power Automate and send an approval to my manager and when they approve it's going to come back to me. So we're going to cover that whole um, scenario of wanting time off in a chatbot and also we'll look at maybe you want to look at financial queries. Uh, I'll often want to see a recent pay stub uh, so that's something uh, you could cover in a chatbot as well. There's lots of other ones just for demo purposes that's what we'll look at today. So what I have opened here in front of me is Microsoft Teams and here is where I'm after implementing a chatbot that I've created. I've called it HR bot and you will see on this Microsoft Teams, Teams panel it's over here in the left hand panel where you might have a chat with your other colleagues and things where if I wanted to contact someone from HR directly, I'd probably message them through this. But a HR bot is going to avoid all that, um, chatting to an actual, let's say, one of my colleagues, and give me a chance to get my answer through the bot. So I'm going to click on my bot, open this chat over here, and I'm going to say just maybe kick off my conversation with a little hi. And one thing that's interesting is you can see all the past conversations that were going through which is just the same as if I was, let's say, talking to one of my colleagues. So very useful um, or very kind of intuitive that way. And I can see my past queries. So it says, hi, I'm a virtual agent. It just gives me a greeting there. So I'm going to want to do something like, oh, um, I kind of want to know about some finance things. So let me see if I can, I want to know about my finance. So. Maybe I want to look at a pay stub or something like that. And so my bot is after recognizing that word finance in this. It's one of my key words that I've set up for a phrase. And it's brought me into this option. Now you could have multiple options. You could have maybe more specific options. I have two options set up here. One is find information on your health benefits. And one is view your most recent pay stub. So that's what I want to do. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click view your most recent pay stub. And it gives me back what my pay was. So it tells me my pay, paid hours were so many hours, how much I made. Did that answer your question? I could hit yes. I'm going to hit no here because hitting no will also help display some of this. So when I hit no, it says, hmm, would you like to talk to a human agent or would you try like to try rephrasing? So the great option there is we can, if let's say you cannot get your answer through the HR bot or the bot that's set up, you can go click talk to an agent and it'll direct you to a person that you can actually chat to. But for us, let's just hit rephrase for now. Because what I want to do now is I'm just going to maybe look for, ooh, I guess I need some time off. So I'm going to say I need a holiday. So I'm going to type in here, just like I would. If I was chatting to a person, I'm going to say I need a holiday. And the way this is set up is I need a holiday isn't a trigger phrase, but the keyword holiday is. And it brings me into this, it lets the chatbot know where we're going. So it says, would you like to manage your time off? Great. I'm going to hit yes. And like before, it's going to kind of know, ask me a few questions here and figure out what's, what, what do I need. So what's really cool about this is I want to, I want to apply for some time off and, uh, we're going to actually send out an app, like a submission for like, I'm going to apply for some time off. It's going to go to my manager. It's going to come back if it was approved or not. So my bot right here is going to gather up some information. And this is kind of cool too, because it means you can grab information off whoever's using it. So I'm going to put in my name uh, and it's also going to ask for my email. And once I have that entered in, 
my bot can kind of use that information. So what would I like to do? I could maybe view my remaining leave days. So how many days do I have left or submit a leave request? For now, I'm going to actually go with submit a leave request. Let's see. If I hit view remaining leave, it'll give me back like how many days I've left over. But let's submit a leave request. And this is a really cool feature here. So my HR bot says, I'm going to ask for your start date and end date of your leave. And then I will submit for approval. When do you want your leave to begin? And this is really cool. We could put in properly formatted dates, but I could also go, well, I just want my leave to start tomorrow, actually. Um, so I want my leave to start tomorrow. When do I want it to conclude? Ooh, I want it to conclude on, let's say, the 4th of January. I'm actually going to type it in like this, the 4th of January. And it actually, know, it's picking out two dates here. Now one is in the past, but there's the one I want, the 4th of January 2021. Great. And if I wanted to be more specific, I could actually format it like that. 4th of January 2021. And now it's after telling me your request for leave from the 4th of November, which is my tomorrow right now, to the 4th of January has been sent to my manager. You will receive an email when they make their decision. Did I answer your question? So I'm going to hit yes for now anyway. But what this is after doing is it's after sending that email to my manager. And right now for this video, I'm set up as my manager. So if I hop over to my emails over here, I just got a new email. And here it is, leave request. So it says, and this email has come to me in a manager, like I'm in the manager position. So it says, hey, Phil, can you approve a leave request from the 4th of November to the 4th of January for Philip Ryan. So I'm going to hit approve. And this is the nice thing is even though this process is automated, you can still have some touch points here between um, the users. So even though I'm hitting approve here, I'm going to put in a comment here. I'm going to say, enjoy your trip. So enjoy your trip. I'm going to write that in as a comment as the manager. And now what's going to happen is, as the employee, I should get a new email and that should be kind of an email to say your leave request was approved. So if we hop over here, we'll see I just got an email, 839, um, in a different time zone. But if I got it, I just got an email. It says, hey, Philip Ryan, your leave request from the 4th of November 2020 to the 4th of January 2021 has been approved. Your manager left the following comment. Enjoy your trip. So you can see there is still that level of connection where there's communication between my manager and me. That's especially important if, let's say, my manager rejected my, um, my leave request. Well, then they're able to give me a reason why they rejected it. So it's not, uh, I'm not locked out from knowing what's going on or the reasoning behind decisions. So that's just two ways. There's also like multiple different routes we could have maybe asked for how many extra days we've got off. But the key here is just seeing how convenient this is. Having this chatbot built directly in Teams allows me to communicate with it as I would my regular HR representative and get the answers that I need. And as we saw earlier as well, if I cannot find the answer I need, there is the option to then uh, at some point connect me to a user. So like we saw that, um, I think it was up here somewhere when I said no, after I asked about my pay and I said, and I said, did I answer my question? I said, no, well, it gives me that option to connect to an agent. So it's really flexible, really robust um, way of uh, handling queries and cutting out a lot of work for HR until, and so they can focus on, let's say the more important stuff. Thank you.